y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan, if you are new here. Alrighty, so I was watching Samantha March's Will I Buy It week. I think she puts them up every Wednesday or something. I was watching that this week and she mentioned that Sephora released a clean makeup kit and it was 28 bucks and so I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. Um, because you know, clean makeup, blah, 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 that's what I normally do. So I went to Sephora and I got it. So I wanna unbox it with you all, talk about the products, we'll use them together. There's things I already know I don't want. I paid 28 bucks for this. One of the things I really, okay, we're just gonna roll in because I have a lot to chat about with you guys and we're going to use this stuff as I open it because I just am curious. So yeah, let's just start. Okay, so opening it up, the top layer is this Ilia foundation thing. And then inside are all of the products. We got an Ilia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. We're just going to use this together. It's kind of funny. I got this as a sample. Where did it go? I have a sample of this exact thing from Credo Beauty. So they just gave that to me when I purchased something. So kind of funny. It's in this kit. It's kind of sparkly. It's kind of smoky as well. It's kind of a nice serum actually. I'm a little bit impressed with that. It's kind of sticky feeling. Wow, yeah, that's really sticky feeling. It went on very, very watery and just serum-like and now the finish is very sticky. Kind of interesting. We'll see how it works with the foundation. Okay, so this is a gripe I always have. I do not like when brands <laughs> send these or give these. So we got shades SF2, SF6, and SF9. None of these will work for me. I have this foundation, so I'm just going to pull it out. I'm shade SF1, which is a lighter shade. All right, so something that really kind of grinds my gears is when brands do this because I can't use that. Only three people can use that. And even for them, it's not like you get enough of the product to really give it a go. You can basically do a color match with it. I mean, come on now. You know, with that primer, it's kind of pilling a little bit. Like I just feel pill. Kind of interesting because usually primers and foundations from the same brand work really well together. Maybe it's just because I was rubbing them into one another. We'll try the makeup sponge technique. Okay, I think rubbing the two products together the way I was, it wasn't very good. But using a sponge and just patting them together, it's fine. It feels flawless, looks decent. One of the things that kind of drew me to this palette is that it has a mascara I've wanted to try and then it also has this. This is the Lawless Loose Setting Powder. Just straight up, I'm just telling you guys, Annie Lawless is not one of my favorite people by any means. She's just not. I think that she's kind of ignorant in a lot of ways and her makeup style is just not similar to mine at all. I mean, I'm going to put on concealer while I kind of make this statement. Do I think she's a bad person? I don't know. I have I don't know her. I just think she's kind of ignorant and yeah, she look her up if you're curious for more. Again, our makeup styles are just totally different. I have a lot more of a, you know, I play with color and stuff, but I don't know. I I like a more natural look, so that's why I haven't really tried a lot of her products because whenever I see her kind of content on the interwebs, her looks just aren't I don't know, they just don't really align with kind of my makeup aesthetic. So it's one of the reasons I haven't tried a lot of her stuff. But I have wanted to try something because at least you guys know I don't like RMS Beauty. It's no secret around these parts. But at least I've tried enough of the products so I can judge it for just the products kind of thing. So I kind of have my thoughts on the person, but I don't really know about the product. Okay, so now let's just check out this setting powder. I'm not sure if the full size, because this is a little mini, you get 10 grams, 0.35 ounces. I'm not sure if the full size has a locking sifter, but this does not, which I hope the full size does because I would never, or it's not that I would never, but I do not like makeup products that are loose that don't have a locking sifter. Well, the sticker is a B-I-T-C-H to get off. There we go. It's pretty fine. Um, it's kind of a tinted 
translucent powder. See how it does under my eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's not super fine. I still like my 14U one more. I don't know, it, it, it's not like wowing to me just first impression wise. So now we got a Bite Beauty Multi-Stick. This is in shade Cashew. So I'm just putting this on the cheeks. That's pretty creamy. Hope I didn't use too much. Okay, that blended out, nice. We also got the Josie Moran, Moran, Moran Argon Enlightenment Lumini Illuminizer. I am not going to be using this because I've had issues with her Argon oil in the past breaking me out and it's hers specifically. I've used other Argon, not base, but products that have Argon in them and they haven't broken me out, but for some reason this brand's does. So yeah, I'm just gonna pass on that one. That'll go in the giveaway box. And then we also got a little RMS Beauty lipstick in Temptation. I have used this before. You guys know I'm not a huge RMS Beauty fan. I'm just not a huge Rosemary Swift fan in general. So these two going in the giveaway box. All right, so this was the main reason I bought this box. So we did get a trial size or what size is this? It's some sample size. It's the Ilia Beauty Limitless Lash Mascara in after midnight and there's 0.1 ounces of this product. So I kind of struggled when I got this box because this is $28 and the full size of this mascara is $28. So I just kind of struggled because it was something, mainly this was the only thing I really wanted from this box. The other things were just kind of like trial and see if I like them. And I know that I got a lot less than I would have gotten in the mascara if I would have gotten the full size, right? But in the end, I still decided to get this just because there were some things that I kind of was interested in. I was interested in that Lawless powder um, and this mostly. And just at this $28 price point, I could get both and try them. Let me finish the, a little bit more makeup and then we'll use the mascara together because so many of you guys have told me about this. So many people randomly when I've been at clean beauty stores have been like, that's my favorite mascara. So I wanna try it and see what I think of it. The brush is interesting on one side. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it. On one side it's a comb and on the other side, it's just traditional silicone brush. I did curl my lashes, guys, just when I was doing my other makeup, so everyone knows. Huh, this is pretty nice, truly. This comb on the other side is nice because you can really get into your root. Okay, all I see, I see you, I see you, I see why you like this. It's really nice because it gives your lashes volume and length, but it's not super clumpy. That's real nice. Okay, good job, Ilya. That is a, this, yeah, good job with this. All right, guys, so the things that I am happy with, I guess, I actually do like that Bite product. I feel like this is more of a fall color, though, so I'll use this more in the fall on my lips and my cheeks. This is interesting. It's just this Ilya primer is interesting. I'm very pleased with this mascara. I'm very excited to try it more and just kind of wear test it and stuff. The Lawless powder is okay. I mean, again, it wasn't good. It wasn't, it's not that it wasn't good. It was good, but it just wasn't something that I was like, oh, wow, now I need the full size of that. These products for me were just duds. This was a very hard decision for me to make purchasing the Ilia mascara or purchasing this. I am kind of glad I got this just to try a few different things out. Let me know if you would purchase this. I'll have it linked down below just for ease of finding it online. Again, it was available physically at my Sephora, but uh, maybe you don't have one near you or something. I get it. I'm from a place that didn't have a Sephora until like three years ago. <sighs> all right, all. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.